Hi, this is David Collins from Bushcom Antenna Systems Australia. Here's a quick demo video on the Bushcom SWC100 series of broadband antennas. Um, now, when I say this broadband, it is a true broadband antenna. Um, there is no tuner required, and I'll show you that on the antenna analyzer in a moment. Um, it is also a tr true commercial quality antenna. You can see there um, the main radiators are made out of um, 304 stainless steel wire. Um, we find the average mean time between failure on these antennas is about 17.5 years. So basically, even in the harshest of environments, you should be able to put this up and, and pretty much forget it, forget about it for 10 years. So um, Now this is the 34 metre long version, that's the overall length, um, which uh, is rated at to 5 to 30 megahertz. Uh, there is a 48 metre version as well, um, which is rated at 3.5 to 30 megahertz. And on request, we do also do a 60 meter version um, if you need performance down down to two megahertz. Now, uh, you see there, that's the uh, the load. Uh, there's actually one on either end of the antenna. Um, this is the high-powered version, which is 100 watts, uh, 100 watts or 125 watts continuous CW or data. Um, we do also have a 125 watt. PEP voice model available as well. So, so we'll move back here and um, and then we'll I think we'll put it on the antenna analyzer to, for you guys like to see the technical side of things. Um, these systems are very popular um, in Australia and Southeast Asia by government departments and um, uh, even commercial HF networks. They're extremely popular. Um, purely because they're just uh, they're easy to install because it's just a, a single wire antenna. So. Okay, so I'll move down to the antenna analyzer here. Um, you can see there I'm on 4.2 megahertz. I'll start, now keeping in mind this is the 5 to 30 meg version. And uh, you can see there the VSWR at 3.9 megahertz is 1.5. And I'll just scroll up. And you'll be able to see it. 5 megahertz, 1.3, 6 megahertz, 7 megahertz, 1.8, 1.9, at 9 megahertz. Then I'll move up to the 10 megahertz range. 10 megs, 1.8, 1.7, 11, 12, 1.6, 1.5, 1.6, 20 megahertz. It does move up so. At about 19 megahertz, it's still fine. It does move up a little around 22 and 23, and then around 26 to 30 megahertz, it's got quite reasonable um, VSWR again. So they um, they're actually um, when you're talking frequency versus VSWR, they're actually amazingly flat these antennas. So. So, um, so that's on that side of it. Um, I will also, I've got a, um, a radio here too. We can quickly go on air. Just give you a bit of a demo. Um, this will be on 7 megahertz. I have a, uh, have a friend waiting for me to... Okay, we've got the connector. Okay. All right, so I'll just turn it up a little bit. Yeah, VK4, uh, FIXA, copy the VK4, UNK. VK4, UNK, VK4, FIXA, G'day, Sorry, mate, I'll just turn you up a little bit. Yeah, just um, doing a bit of a YouTube video on the new SWC100. Uh, um, uh, just um, wondering what sort of, um, yeah, what sort of signal you've got there. Roger, mate. No problems. Oh, that's that's great to hear. So, um, so okay then. Well, thanks thanks for the radio check, Peter, and um, we'll be chatting soon, mate. Roger, Roger, Dave. No worries. VK four clear of VK four UNK. Thanks, Peter. VK four UNK going clear. So that was a little on air test. Um, so yeah, look, if you if you're interested, um, 
the the pricing these are actually quite keenly priced so they do over, although they're a commercial antenna they do also overlap into the amateur market so um, if you're interested uh, go to www.bushcom.com and um, have a look at our library page and uh, you'll see the SWC 100 series of antennas you'll see the BBA uh, 100 series of antennas which are the uh, the multi-wire broadband antennas as well so um, okay thank you for watching